explain what kind of service your organisation provides? We provide crisis accommodation, a 24-hour helpline, seven days a week, 365 days of the year. We give a court advocacy service, we have aftercare programmes, we do training and awareness with different agencies. Well, Gerard, I've been working in the area for um, about 17 years, back in the early 90s. Uh, myself and a number of other colleagues came down in Cork. We started to adopt what was, became known as the Cork Domestic Violence Project. The reason for that is that I work primarily in a marriage counselling setting and we found that a, a sizable minority of our clients were presenting with the issue of domestic violence as the underlying difficulty in the relationship and we realised that we didn't know anything about it or how to deal with it. What's your definition of domestic abuse? Okay, well I see it as a gender issue and I see it very much as a kind of systematic um, method of, of abuse and violence which are about having power and control over somebody. Um, uh, in some situations it is physical violence of all kinds, uh, but not in all situations. And there would be also emotional and psychological abuse and manipulation. Is the legal process unnecessarily difficult for victims of domestic violence? Um, unnecessarily difficult? I'm not sure. Um, I think it's unnecessarily tolerant. I think that's where the... Unnecessary of the perpetrators? Uh, uh, tolerant of the abuse, yes. Right. So that uh, while the system per se might be reasonably um, useful and well designed and well, well intentioned. The actual practice is that at every step of the way people dismiss the idea of the terror that these people are living in. They can't comprehend it and so they respond very inadequately to it. Is there any difference between assaulting your wife or just assaulting a complete stranger on the street? Well. In 1996, they actually, the Domestic Violence Act was a court mandate where um, if women were abused in the home that the, the perpetrators would be held accountable. What we're finding is that it's so hard for women to come to court um, and when they do come, the sanctions are not put, you know, they're not actually put on the, the abusers. So really, somebody on the street getting hit or molested would actually, I would think, would get as, you know, a quicker sentence than somebody who's actually doing it in the home. Why do some women stay in a relationship that's abusive, keep going back to them, keep giving them another chance, etc.? It's, it's a really interesting question, Gerard, and it's a question that I've been asked in public, I suppose, ever since I began to talk about this issue, but it's the wrong question. Right. The real question is how do men actually get a woman to go back Right. into an abusive relationship or to stay in an abusive relationship when, he's in, when she's in there. Mm -hmm. It is actually nothing to do with her. Mm -hmm. It's already, and you use the term brainwash, but he has already invaded her thinking process to such an extent that she doesn't think for herself anymore. And within, I say to my clients, my women clients, uh, every thought you have, the second part of that thought is what would he think of it if I ever tell him or would I not tell him at all but he has been part of every thought for years and years. So in that process he has presented to her a scenario or a number of scenarios where she can't survive without him 
or the world won't accept her without him or the children won't be able to survive without him. Well, the woman in these, there's a lot of factors why women stay in a relationship. There's maybe financial. Um, the men, you know, provide the money. They, they're not working. The children's schools, she worries about the schools. And, I mean, getting up and going into a refuge where you don't know anybody, getting a new home, all of those things. And most women think that it has to be physical abuse, that you can see a bruise, but it's the emotional, psychological abuse, which is the most damaging to women and they're the hardest to prove. So for a lot of women, sometimes staying in the relationship's easier, and research has shown that when women do leave the relationship, that's the time that they are murdered. I think there are also social and religious attitudes um, and, and values that um, society, while it's, also, while it's saying, oh, why don't women leave, that same society is saying things like children from broken homes um, cause all the ills in society uh, or um, have difficulties with education and, and women are very concerned to do the right thing for their children. Their own religious beliefs may be that um, it, it's not right to leave a marriage. Uh, so, And their communities or even their families may make it difficult too. Men are sometimes a victim of domestic violence. Uh, do you know of any organisation in the North West or in Ireland that they can go to for support? Yes, although we uh, work with women, we, we do recognise that men are abused as well. And when we do some media coverage, we would have had men phone on our helpline. We also we keep the numbers of a man forever fathers and we would listen to the if they want to talk to us, but we would say we work specifically with women, but we can refer you on to the service. So we would have the numbers of Amen, Forever Fathers, there's a new group open now in Action and Ashon and we would pass that on, we just wouldn't put down the phone and say no sorry we don't work with you. Well there are um, a number of organisations who are, um, I suppose, uh, they will deal with all the non-gendered if you like, our organisation that we worked at, I was involved with a group in Dunleary for three years and we would have taken anybody from either male or female victims and male or female perpetrators because we were directly connected with the courts. So while we had an occasional phone call from men who said that they would be victims of violence and abuse in the relationship, I actually only met one. Okay, men sometimes are victims, but I don't think they are in the same numbers that, that women are. And we do know as well that generally with different forms of violence, the extreme forms of dark violence, it's 90% of it is committed by men, different types of You may just because men are physically stronger. Is it just best of nature, is that what it's down to? I don't think it's only that. I still <laughs> think it's to do with um, gender issues and the roots of patriarchal society that, that um, we're in. And because those things still seem to be uh, appearing in relationships with young women, and uh, I do meet a number of young women that are experiencing that type of abusive behaviour from young men. Can a violent abuser change their ways in your experience? In my experience, very few have ever changed their ways. If the person is willing to change and they're willing to seek help, uh, that's the only time it's going to work. And what we find is even if men who go to get help, they're still blaming their partner and saying, do you know if she'd have done this or done that, I wouldn't react like this. But in most cases that I know of, no, there is, they don't really change.